The skyline at the Hanford site in southeastern Washington state is changing dramatically and quickly with the help of Recovery Act funding. Five industrial structures went out with a bang on February 18th as C.H. Tulum Hill Plateau Remediation Company used explosives to remove two exhaust chimneys, two air filter structures, and a water tower in the 200 west area of the central plateau. C.H. Tulum Hill used $1.6 million in American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding to remove the structures that have been an icon to the Hanford skyline for over 50 years but were no longer of service. The structures supported the 284 West Powerhouse. The structures are 250 feet, 90 feet, and 140 feet tall, respectively. Given the height of the structures, explosive demolition was selected as the safest method for the project. CH2M Hill partnered with subcontractors Klaus Construction and Controlled Demolition Incorporated to prepare and implement the demolition. Today is actually the culmination of an event that could have been hazardous, could have exhibited incidents and things of that nature, but it was well planned, well coordinated, well executed, and the end product was exactly as forecasted by the blasting contractor in PRC. The chimneys fell on time in the desired location and without hazard. These buildings are icons for the two east and two west area, right? The stacks are the tallest things in the area. They've been here for, like you said, since the 40s. Um, it is a big change. I mean, it's a big change in history, um, but it's a good change. You have to look at it that there's plenty of knowledge about, about how the plant was built, what they're here for, and these are just old coal powerhouses. Uh, there's nothing sophisticated about them, but after 70 years, they're gonna start falling down on their own or either you got to go in and start putting them back up, so we might as well take them down now. CH2M Hill is also preparing to use Explosives and Recovery Act funds to demolish a series of similar structures in the 200 East area in early March.